Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, just wanted to make a quick video explaining some things that um, uh, first we'll start here. Um, the whole thing is is how they're just trying to keep you from the truth, the world and everything. It's just trying to keep you from the absolute truth. I was watching Brother Brian's video proof that the Jesuit control the World Health Organization and you go down there's a sister in Christ. Let's see. Oops, I didn't put it. YouTube's weird. Sometimes if you say top comments, you'll see some comments. If you say newest first, some comments disappear. So you usually have to go through both if you want to see all. But right here, uh, Sister uh, Chantry. Hope that's big enough. Uh, she linked the Plandemic Part 2. I watched the first part of Plandemic, um, and, I, and I watched it and everything. So I sat here, and you click on it, and it brings you here. I'll put the link down in the comment section. And yes, <laughs> I still have my banner. Just a side note real quick, the banner thing. People always say, you're trying to be like Brother Brian. And you're trying to be like this and this, like everybody's copying Brother Brian. I knew that if I kept this long enough, everybody would be about new, new, new. Brian went off and did other banners. He does other things now. Uh, other people are switching their banner. Everybody goes, it just seems like very few people do this banner anymore. I mean, you stick to something that's good, that's true, you know, you stick to what's true and what's good, and eventually you're, you're going to feel like you're the only one. <laughs> so I just, I'll always keep pointing, it. it's the word of God that's the truth. But anyway, you come to the pandemic, and I was like, well, I watched the whole video. It's very good, a lot of good information based off of facts, okay? Not just people's opinions and, and philosophy and fables and stuff like that. It's based off of facts, okay? It's really good. Uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the comment section. It says pandemic and indoctrination, okay? And they talk about how what's going on. But the biggest thing is, is uh, you'll learn about the CDC. The U.S. CDC owns the patent for SARS-CoV. Uh, Cove, the virus responsible for SARS, isolating from humans. In 2007, the CDC filed a petition with the patent office to keep their coronavirus patent confidential. These are based off facts. They found the paperwork showing that they did this. They also own patents for detected methods and for a kit to measure the virus. Now that's the big thing. Like I said, just watch the video. I'm not going to go through a lot in the video because that's not the point of this video. But sometimes you can get a little sidetracked. But right there, let that know that I came out with a way to detect the COVID virus and said, okay, here's a way to detect it. Here's a way to test for it. And I go to give it to the people. It's illegal. I'll get arrested. Why? Because they hold the patent and they'll tell you, they'll take our way of finding out whether you have it or not is the true way. When you have multiple people doing true science and doing true testing and everything and saying, okay, we've got our test, they've got their test, this person over here has a way of testing it too. There are different tests, but they all test for the same thing. Different ways to test. They test for the same thing. That's how you know a little bit maybe, but when you have someone who has a patent on the detecting methods, you have to go through the CDC to get detected whether you have it or not, and they'll tell you whether you have it or not. That's a red flag. Right? But like I said, there's a lot of things in here. But I watched it. It's a good video. I don't know how to record it, the video itself, or else I'd upload it on my channel. It wouldn't last long. But I'd upload it on the channel. So I'll put the co uh, link to this uh, in the comment section. And I'll also put it in the about under the video. Right? But here's the thing. I went to Facebook, and I linked it. Okay. It took them two days to do this. Let's see if I can make this bigger. It took them two days to do this. Eventually it popped up and I got a notice up here. Right here. I don't know if people can see it. But right here it says, false information found in your posts by independent fact checkers. We've added a notice to your uh, posts. What's that notice? Well, they came on here and say, false information checked by independent fact checkers. See why. See how this is the big square. This is the biggest square. See why. And it gives them false information. But if you actually want to see the link, there's a little thing down here that says see link. So if I hit see link, then I can see the link. And then it pops up and you can see it. But here's the thing. I go up here going, well, after what they did, we'll hit this again. All you have to do is hit... Uh, 
toilet had to refresh and it pops back up again. So I'm like, well, now that they're trying to censor uh, free speech, because they are, the, they're also censoring the truth, I went up here and said, okay, let's see if we can edit the post. And the moment I go try to edit, this thing pops up. And notice, read it right here, it says, before you share this content, you might want to know there's additional reporting from science feedback. No, there isn't. Watch the video. They have facts, and they show that, that you remember, I don't know if some of you brothers and sisters of Christ remember Peter Ruckman, his one video about the Bible being true, and one of the ways he believes the King James Bible is God's perfect written word, is because of the, uh, the lies of the critics. Okay, how the critics have to lie to put this book down, that gives some credit to this book because they can't they can't go off of truth because they can't you can't refute this book being God's perfect written word. There's no mistakes in it. Every mistake that people keep claiming are in this book, the King James Bible, has been refuted. So what do they gotta do? They gotta come up with lies, deception, all kinds of stuff to prevent you from coming to the knowledge of the truth. And it's the same thing here. When you've got them where they're just doing all kinds of lies and deceit to try to keep you from something, someone who has a love of the truth is going to be like, well, I really got to see this video now because they're making up all these lies and doing this all this stuff to prevent you from seeing this video. They don't do it on other things. Why are they doing it on, the, on this whole pandemic? It's a pandemic, you know, the COVID-19. Okay, But it says, reporting from Science Feedback, but he says, pages and websites that repeatedly publish or share false news will see their overall distribution reduced and be restricted in other ways. In other words, they're trying to fear, put fear in you. If you keep posting this stuff, they might shut that channel down that you like if you keep posting it and, and, and trying to get truth out there, but they're claiming their lies. You know, they're just trying to do it. So I say, well, you know what? I want to share anyway. Nothing happens. Share anyway, share anyway, share anyway, so I can get back to the editing thing because I wanted to get in there, put there, and said, "Hey, if you want to be here, see lies, click see see now," because that was the button. But if you want truth, uh, click on see the video. Okay, I wanted to add that to it, but it's not letting me. When you get to this screen, it freezes up, doesn't let you do anything. All I can do is delete the video and then repost it, which I probably will do, with the comment section on it. Okay. And the thing that gets me about all this fact checking, see I can't even back out of here. Only thing I can do is come up here and hit return or refresh. And it'll ask if I want to leave the page. And then I can get back to where I was. But I can no longer mess with my post. They took over the post. They have full control of the post. Okay. On my channel it might say C link, but on theirs. Uh, someone else who looks at it, they might not see the C link. Okay. Uh, so I just want to do this because I remember uh, uh, if you read this, if you actually watch the study, they talk about who's behind all the fact finders. You know, Google search. They talk about everybody, all these people that are behind all these so called fact finding websites. And this just proved their point in that video that, they're, that what they're saying is absolute truth. These fact finders are all based off of Bill Gates. They'll go back to Bill Gates. And these people that are pushing the, the pandemic, it all goes back to them. And anybody that stands up and says, hey, here's truth, here's the facts, here's true science, this is false, they're getting censored or deleted. Okay? You type in Google, uh, pandemic, all you're going to get is people making fun of the pandemic like it's a hoax and this thing is really going on and everything's really serious out there. You don't, there don't, if they were true and neutral, you'll see half and half. You see people are saying the pandemic is truth. You'll see videos of people saying the, this pandemic thing is a hoax. You'd see half and half if they were neutral. But you don't. It's mo mainly hoax, 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 hoax. To ignore this pandemic stuff, it's just hoax, hoax, hoax even though it's been proven. Okay. So I want to throw that out there. Brother uh, JT, he did a video that they took down where he went on Google search because Google, this video, he hasn't watched yet. I hope he gets to it, brother. It talks about the fact finding. Okay. Fact finding where you're, where it's coming from. 
So when you go on Google and you try to search, it's all engineered. A hundred people die from the COVID. It'll tell you where somebody, some place where a hundred people died of the COVID. Uh, One thousand people died. It'll tell you somewhere. One, two, three, four. Like you, he just thrown in random numbers, and it was coming up saying, "See here, this place, this many people died." And random numbers, random numbers. And eventually, as he threw in random numbers, it got back to the same place, and it had a different number on it. <clears throat> So in two seconds, it would go from like, I'm using low numbers, but he even threw in some high numbers. But it went from, like I say, 1,000 deaths, and then he put in 56,452, just a random number. And it comes to that same place saying, that's how many people died there. And it's like, wait a second. You said, someone with brains would say, wait a minute, it said something else. Um, but when he did that, they deleted his channel, and they took it down. Okay. What's going on? Who's behind Google search? Who's behind the fact finding? This video will talk about that. True facts. Who owns it? Tracing things back to the source. Okay. It's like I said, I like the video. I'll probably watch it again. Um, but what we're, what we're seeing today, what we're seeing today is 2 Timothy uh, 4. I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Notice there's two things there. At his appearing, in other words, he's not touching down. He's up there and he's calling us home, the catching away of the body of Christ, before the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? There's two judgments. I keep pushing that. There's a lot of people that just, they, they go, Oh, thank you. I'm not going to be at the white, great white throne judgment. All the fear is gone. Uh, you need to check the scriptures. You're going to be standing before Jesus Christ in the judgment seat of Christ. And a lot of our works are going to get burned up. I'm going to be honest. My works, a lot of my works as a saved sinner, when you get saved, I believe everything in your past gets washed away. Your sins can be forgiven in your walk with the Lord. Ask the Lord. He's faithful to forgive. But you still have to give an account of your life as a Christian to Jesus Christ at the judgment seat of Christ. Okay? Uh, there's still supposed to be a fear of the Lord. Even as a saved man, there's still supposed to be fear of the Lord there. Don't let that downplay it. But today, there's no fear of God. Okay? Um, this is a whole other study going off on. But I was talking to the Lord today about um, the great deception again. The, gr the true great deception today is that you can have this world and be a Christian. Okay? Uh, they're promised that these false Christs, these antichrists, these false Jesuses, it's actually Satan that they worship. All these easy believing, most of the professing Christians of the world, they worship Satan that tells them that they can have this world and be a Christian. They, that false Jesus Christ that, that's an antichrist, that's Satan, posing as Jesus Christ, promises them liberty. They get to go to heaven when they die. But they themselves are the servants of corruption. It's another vo a, a verse. I remember talking to him about this, and it comes to this, that, that there's two judgments. There's still supposed to be fear of the Lord, and you're still supposed to be living a sanctified life. But verse 2, this is what we're trying to do, brothers and sisters Christ, you and me. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all love, long-suffering, and doctrine. We are trying to preach absolute truth. Right? We're trying to preach absolute truth. And people, what is their attitude? Okay. Here's people's attitude today when it comes to truth as a whole. Because what we're talking about over there is what's going on with this pandemic. When truth comes out, what's people's attitude about the truth? Verse 3. Let's see if I keep it up the top. Yeah. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. These teachers have no truth. They have no foundation. It's all about lust. It's all about the flesh. Fear-mongering, trying to get people from do, uh, uh, believing the truth. Saying, hey, here's the truth over here, but here's some fleshly things over here. And they distract them. Let's see if I'm doing it. They got the truth here, but here's the flesh over here. We got movies, TV shows. We got entertainment. We got sports. We got fast food. You know, all the stuff over here to distract them from the truth after their own lusts. They get pulled away because they're flesh driven. The Bible talks about being carnally minded and walking after the flesh. Okay, in verse 4 it says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, which is what this pandemic part 2 had a lot of truth in it, and shall be turned unto fables. When you went here, these fact checkers, it's all fables. Okay, and in that video pandemic, it shows 
where they made purposely lied about uh, they did an interview with a lady I forgot her name um, about the COVID virus and so like that and they came out with a lot of lies about her and he shows proof in there that the one of the people that was fact checkers that were telling the truth he had information and he had the evidence of truth but he chose to come out online and purposely lie he had the truth but he chose to purposely lie to people why because there's a hidden agenda going back to who's behind all these fact checkers who's behind who's really behind all these people that are attacking absolute truth ultimately it goes back to Satan the father of lies right? so I just wanted to make a just quick video to try to point you to this video if there's some ways you guys can find it and promote it if you feel like it's something you want to promote um, you don't have to promote it because I'm promoting it it just had a lot of good information and it made me go wow yeah that makes sense yeah that if they've got documentation you go through their, uh, their postings and stuff like that yeah it's it's a really good video so uh, grace and peace from God our Father we're not allowed to have truth today <laughs> not allowed to put out truth brother JT had his video taken down and they didn't mark him he, he even put out a video uh, maybe I'll link his video too uh, so this is her talking uh, Chantry link in the video praise the Lord I got it from this sister in Christ I didn't even know there was a part two out um, come over here just so I can show it right here this one right here August 2020 channel update I'm being censored I'll put the link to this one down there he's talking about it I watched his video it was a really amazing video where he's going through showing stuff where the Google search is totally it's just all about brainwashing and false information and it just it was a great video and his video got taken down why well when he watches that pandemic too he said he would I, I trust the brother he says he would he will uh, he'll watch that it talks about the fact checkers and who's behind all the different types of fact checking you can do online you get online to do fact checking to see is this true is this false all of it goes back to the Bill Gates Foundation the Bill and Linda Gates I think it is it all goes back to the CDC the people behind the CDC which is Bill Gates and pushing this uh, the shot the f uh, my brain freezes sometimes but you don't know talk about the shot uh, that's pushing all this mask wearing and the six foot and everything because all this stuff that they say brother and sister Christ all these measures they're putting out there saying you got to do this it helps protect you from the COVID virus and truth proven by doctors you look up the studies you look up facts it's hard to find facts going through the regular stuff um, so um, I'm not one of those people that's why I'd love for a brethren to stand up and do a channel where he's like okay here's some good channels that have good facts you have to go to websites because you can't go through YouTube hardly anymore you can't go through Facebook they're censoring it you can't go through Google search and stuff like that but to say hey here's some uh, good sites that they'll put out facts here's the facts they're not censored nobody owns them nobody runs them you know they're, they're not censored that would be great it really would but today it's it's hard to find truth but all these measures, when you look up the facts and everything about wearing the masks, the six feet, the uh, constantly killing every bacteria on your hands, so you're, uh, um, when you get sick, it lowers your immune system. Your immune system is like a muscle that needs to be worked. It's fighting things all the time, brothers and sisters of Christ. It's keeping you strong because it's staying strong. It's working out all the time, okay, like your muscles. When you kill all the bacteria, you're wearing masks and breathing in your own CO2, not getting enough oxygen. That lowers the immune system when you don't get enough oxygen. But you're, you're totally sterilizing, sterilizing everything. You're not going outside. You're hiding in your home and you're not going out into nature where you need to be. It lowers your immune system because your immune system gets weak. It's not fighting anything. and It's just like, okay, I don't have to be that strong anymore. I'm in a perfect environment. I don't need to be that strong anymore. And then when they lift everything like they did and people go out, you get sick. What a concept. You're going to get sick. So, brothers and sisters of Christ, when we come out, I don't do as much as some of the brethren do, but this COVID-19, stand firm, stand strong. Your health is important, and if someone truly is about your health, they're going to show you all sides. What happened to the pros and cons? 
All they talk about now is pros. Wear these masks. All oh, here's all these pros. They don't talk about the cons hardly. Why? Because the cons outweigh any pros. There's really no pros. It's all cons. If you're sick and you're coughing and you're sneezing and you wear a mask because for some emergency you have to go into town, yeah, it'll help. But you shouldn't be going into town. If you're that sick, stay home. But you know what I'm saying? If you're not sick, that mask does not help you. It will not prevent you from getting sick. And it will not prevent you from getting other people sick. If you are sick, uh, you're going to cough a lot, but that virus goes right through that mask. Okay? It's got to be a, what is it? Uh, I forgot the microns. It's very, very small. And when it comes to giving it out, yeah, the mask, you can probably find a mask. But bottom line, you have to have a mask that won't let oxygen through, basically. If you can push against the material and breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out, it's not small enough. The virus can get through. If air can get through, the virus can get through. That's the whole point. Um, so they're talking about in order to keep from getting sick, these people always joking around, but if they're being honest, you got to wear a full hazmat suit. If you're really, if this is really a epidemic, it's hardcore. Tons of people are getting it. Tons of people are dying. And everything. You would have to wear a full body hazmat suit. And why are Americans saying, duh, we're not there, so it's not an epidemic, it's a pandemic, but I can go on forever. Remember, um, brothers and sisters of Christ, we only got a little time left. Okay, I'm doing some reading. I'm going to be trying to get a couple more studies out because I believe that. That's why I'm trying to get more and more studies out more often. Um, if you truly believe Jesus can come back any day in your ministry, you need to be pumping out those videos. Uh, you need to be standing for the Word of God, and you need to be encouraging the brethren. And let's, I'm just, this is encouragement. It's not correction. It's encouragement to the brothers out there that are in ministry. We need to start encouraging the brethren, defending the Word of God um, in these last days, and making sure that people are keeping their eyes on Jesus. And we're trying to get that last soul saved. That last soul saved. Okay. So, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.